Okay, so here we are looking at things from a different angle, and um, we're, we're here at the hind limbs, and we're looking down into the pelvic cavity here, and um, I'm going to pin some things back here. And so let me tell you what you're you're seeing right here. We'll we'll start with the arteries. So you're seeing the aorta coming in here. Maybe I'll back up a little bit. Um, so here's the aorta coming in. Zoom in. And and then you see the aorta branch off into four things. Um, just about all at once. Um, there's these that kind of match up with these blues, and those are called external iliac arteries. So external iliac artery, and here's the other external iliac artery. Um, then there's this that's going up. Um, this, this vessel right here is not something that you're responsible for. It's called the uterine artery. But um, if you just push it to the side, you can see um, vessels that are going down into the pelvic cavity. And I think I'll have to try to get the light a little bit better, just a sec. I'm trying to have the light give you light, but then not be in the way. Um, and let's see. So um, what I'm going to show you down here in the pelvic cavity, you should be able to see straight down the middle. Um, and you, you should maybe get a sense that there's something kind of coming down there. Um, I'm going to push this uterine artery to the side. Sometimes I, I cut them just because they're, they're just a little bit in the way. But you should be able to see that there's sort of three things, um, each with a vein and an artery going down in there. And so the one that's going exactly down the middle, that's the caudal artery and vein. And then if we look a little bit here, to the side, you can see this pink right there. And that's diving in. And it's it's branching off right here. And this is the internal iliac artery. And there's another internal iliac artery. And it's over here on this side pushing away, but uh, you can see this pink that's diving down in there. So internal iliac artery on the cat's left side. And you can also see that there are these, these two different blues. There's this blue, the one that um, kind of meets up with the artery here and runs down the middle. So that's the caudal vein kind of swinging in there. And then there's this other blue that, that dives down in there. And it matches up with this internal iliac. And that's the internal iliac vein. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll add some pins, um, try to improve the situation with the light, and then we'll take another look. A minute, 37 seconds later. Okay. Well, maybe this looks a little bit better. Um, here we are still looking in the pelvic cavity here of the cat. And we have our 
external iliacs here and here. We have the uterine artery that's coming up here and here. And but then when we look in, inside here, we can see the caudal vein is pretty clear. And then here's the artery that, that's running with it. And um, we can also see this blue going down in here. That's an internal iliac vein. And then we turn this. Here's the internal iliac artery. And here's the vein um, right in there. Um, the internal iliac artery on this side is, let me grab it, maybe you can see it, but uh, it's this. Um, so this pink that's right there, you see when I pull that down, you see that pink diving in there? So that's the internal iliac artery, you see that it's coming right off here. And then there's this little guy that I'm holding, that's the uterine again. All right, um, so one thing to note here, oh, you know what? I, I realize there's a, a set of blood vessels I should tell you about that's close by here. I'm just gonna pin this back. All right, so um, I'm gonna pull back a little bit just to orient you. Um, and I'll, I'll give you a blood vessel that you, you've already heard about. This is the inferior mesenteric artery here. And then, then there's this. And this is the iliolumbar. Um, the iliolumbar artery and vein. Zoom in. Well, that's as zoomed in as I can get. Um, so iliolumbar artery and vein. And then that's where we get so close to all the iliac stuff here. Tens of tears later. Okay, we're taking a look here into the pelvic cavity again. And now I want to take a look at the veins. And we, we have that iliolumbar vein. The vena cava is coming down here. And I kind of have to push the arteries to the side a bit in order to see what's going on. And you should be able to see that the vena cava comes down here and splits into two. And uh, I can show you this one on the this side and this one on that side. Do you see that one? And it so it doesn't split into four immediately like with the arteries. And so it just splits into two. And this is called the common iliac vein. There isn't a version of that for the arteries. So common iliac vein, and the one over here is a common iliac vein. Now we're gonna look on the right side. And you can see that with the common iliac, it branches down into the internal iliac. You know, maybe the, this side is better. Um, so here's the common iliac, and I'm grabbing here. And let me push this artery away. All right, so common iliac vein until this point here, where you see that the vein dives in here, and that's the internal iliac vein right there. And then there's this vein that continues down the leg, to the leg. Um, and it's joining with this external iliac. And so that's the external iliac vein. So here's the external iliac vein. That's the internal iliac vein going in there. And then this vein before they split is common iliac. The 
hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time. Okay, and so um, we're right here near the abdominal wall. And you can see that there's a vessel that's running down the leg here. And I can pull back a little bit. And you can see that there's also this running down the leg. Now I'm going to dissect in this region. It's a region that's really near the adductor longus and uh, the adductor femoris. And you just kind of push with your tweezers down into where the muscle is. And you should start to see um, a vessel that's branching down and away from you into muscle. And so that you can see this blue branching down in there. You can also see this pink branching down in there. Now, um, you might wonder, well, where's this blood coming from? It's actually coming from the external iliac arteries and vein. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, cut and remove this abdominal wall. Let me see if I can maybe do it fast. The thing is, um, this is something that you kind of don't want to destroy. This is that ductus deferens. Okay, I'll see how this looks. Okay. So now we're getting another angle of those, um, the internal and, and well, the, I'm sorry, the, the external iliac artery. So you push this to the side here, push this to the side, and you can see that familiar split uh, with external iliac here, external iliac here. I'm trying to keep some urinary and, and reproductive anatomy intact. Um, which is in the way, but, um, well, what we're focusing on here is, is, are these two. So um, this is the external iliac artery, external iliac vein. They come here, they branch down to deep femoral here, and um, then there's this part that continues down the leg, and then that is femoral. And so what I'm gonna do is continue this dissection of taking a look at, well, what happens to the femoral here? We're going to see a branch to saphenous and popliteal, okay? So what I've simply done is is um, I've dissected, so there's the femoral artery and vein, and then I've dissected into the muscle a little bit, uh, so you can kind of see what's going on here. And um, so there's, there's the deep femoral vein, there's the deep femoral artery, little guy, but uh, this is femoral until this place right here. And it's right around uh, that crease between the sartorius and the gracilis. Um, you know, here's gracilis, here's sartorius, this thing I'm lifting up. And so I was just kind of poking around in there. And you can see that the femoral branches down here. It's a little part that's 
that's broken. And then there's this other part that kind of heads out towards the knee. And I'll, I'll back up again. So, oh, well, the knee's right here. I'm pointing at it. So here's the knee. And um, these, this, these vessels are going out towards that. So this is popliteal. It's always fun to say. And uh, this is saphenous. So you have a nice saphenous vein there. And um, I think what I'll do is just dissect a little bit more so you can see this. And um, there you go. So you can think of it as kind of popping out towards the knee. I don't know if that helps you remember things, but yeah, popliteal artery vein, saphenous vein. I don't know if we have a saphenous artery. We do have a little bit of a saphenous artery. See that pink right there? Um, so this is a well-stained cat. So again, femoral, saphenous, popliteal. Oh, <laughs>